Hello people, so today we're going to talk about Civil Tempest and I will try my best to be brief and straight to the point, but you guys know me. Hope everyone is doing alright, um, Surgeon Sparks, everyone's talking about it, everyone's talking about the new uh, EV set, which I forgot the name uh, because I, <laughs> I've just been busy, but um, you know, life is, life is good actually. Uh, this past week was pretty, uh, pretty good, better than it usually is, so I'm, I'm ready for the worst week of my life. Uh, start today, which is Monday, but most likely you couldn't care less about it. Now, Silver Tempest, why are we talking about Silver Tempest? So same thing, I mean, similar thing to what I did with the Lost Origin video, which uh, I would highly recommend you guys watch, uh, so you can give me some watch time. And uh, we have European data, which you'll see popping up uh, right now. And as you can see, that is the number of boxes, again, number of booster boxes over time, pretty much is daily data. And, uh, you know, we've had a restock in uh, March, uh, April, April, I think it was April, March, 2024. So this year, that's why the increased number of boxes. But now we seem to have peaked at 450, 480, maybe a bit less than 500. And now we're down to a bit over 300 boxes. Now, if you look at price, the way I'm looking at it, you can see how it is pretty much a straight line. Now, the slope of such line, it's not what perhaps you want to see, right? You want to see, if you, if you want to make big gains, you want to see something almost going vertical. Now, when something that, like that happens, many times you could say it's a bubble. Here we have steady growth. If you're into steady growth, you should be amused. If you're into uh, quick bucks, uh, you should be upset. Now, I'm not saying one is right, one is wrong. What I'm saying is we are moving higher in price while supply is diminishing. Now, we do not have a, what I refer to as a, some sort of divergence, just like the Lost Origin case, where briefly, once again, I recommend you guys watch it as uh, Lost Origin price has been moving, because uh, I'm sure all the European folks watch my video. Um, I'm confident, um, definitely happened. Um, and um, in that case, we've had supply going down while price remain stable while price remains stable and that is usually a trigger sign a warning sign that you know price is about to go up now if we take a look at silver tempest in the us and i'm looking at tg player it sells for what 170 i'm aware you can still buy it from the pokemon center at uh, msrp which i believe is still 143 plus tax uh, for Soul and Shield, so for Silver Tempest. If you look at sales volume in the US, which is something I wish we had in the U, but luckily we do have my my bot, my data. Welcome, you're welcome. You know, you're welcome. Uh, but seriously though, uh, it, it, it is selling. Uh, we, we're not seeing a steady increase. However, what could happen is, uh, you know, with Soul and Shield boxes moving higher now, why? Well. They're starting to age and most importantly which is something i i have always preached on my channel when everyone is talking about something don't go into that look for what people stop talking about soul and shield now back to the u there's still abundance and when it comes to cases as you can see here they are listed what 27 28 and uh, however price has gone from 800 to now above 900 which means People are not in a rush to sell, and people know what they have in hands. Now, I do have a, a case of uh, SD which I bought for uh, 670 shipped from Teaching Market IT, and I'm not planning to sell it anytime soon. Now, I said I was going to be brief, that's about it. I just want to report the data, and uh, you can find this data available via the bot on the Discord, which is linked down below. Only thing is, just read the rules uh, in the Discord about the bot and you'll be fine. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.